like all the feels. Uh, yeah. How would it even do that? How would this puncture this vinyl? I don't know what to do. I believe you have these on upside down. Do you not read the instructions? We're Marissa, Nathan, Hensley, and JJ. We sold our house in 2015 and moved into an RV full time to live a life of less junk, more journey. Life is a journey. Let go and get going. What's up, fellow journeyers? Today's a little different of a day. Not guys, we're just getting breakfast. <laughs> what was that supposed to be? That's not, no, no, no. She, she cooks, you know. Uh, we <laughs> made notice over here. We've got Brett. Uh, actually, we've got outside is Mike, the sound guy. He's, your name would actually be a lot easier if it was Cam. Oh, so Brett, yeah, right? it should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Brett, though. Yeah, so we got Mike, Mike, the sound that. guy, and Brett, the, the, the camera guy. So that, that throws the whole vibe off. Basically, we're starting off today. So we're going to be in a documentary. So I'll be filming. They'll be filming us. You might see them in the background and stuff. We're usually doing the film, and so filming being filmed. Yeah. Is it yummy? What are you eating? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, it's not yummy. You had the whipped cream too, Elliot. This is how you get them to eat, huh? More waffle? Well, you, you know that is waffle, right? So this morning shots are all about us packing up, leaving. Um, so you guys get to see some of that routine too. It's just kind of rides on the bed. This is all gonna ride on the bed. It's really weird, Brett. <laughs> all right, this is locked up. This will sit, This will, that'll ride, that'll sit. This won't ride either. Which side do you think's less dirty? top and the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> she won't like either one. Yeah, the director's, the director's actually outside. He's looking on, it's on the ground now. He's looking at his monitor watching what Brett's filming inside, so. I wonder if he can hear me saying this. Yeah, oh, they got me mic'd up. I forgot. <laughs> I can't say anything bad about them. Yeah, I told everybody yesterday when I was walking around, I was like, don't say anything bad about the crew. Like, I'm mic'd up. <laughs> Coming out, buddy? We gotta get you some new pajamas, don't we? Hey, JJ, is there anywhere else you can play besides right there on the top of the stairs? Yeah. Well, it wasn't. I'm like, oh, every little thing has to be. <laughs> That's what I was telling. Him. That's what I was telling. Him. Yeah. I'm like, it Don't takes. Make fun of our waffle maker. It takes a <laughs> so while. She saying, she's like, it's so yeah. Small, but it we have six space. six people over for breakfast. Takes like three hours. <laughs> but I mean, the huge waffle makers would just take up so much space. So to have such a tiny little waffle maker means. I get one more kitchen item I get to take with me, right? So something we're doing that's a little bit different than usual. Uh, our water tank, I accidentally filled it up too much. I'm not sure if this is something just in Grand Designs or what, but like when you're flushing a black tank, it still keeps pushing water, not only to the black tank, but to the water tank. So the water tank gets full, which we, we don't want a full water tank on a travel day. It's, it's extra weight and it's just not good to have that balance in the water tank. So we're trying to get water out of the water tank. I've left it on yesterday and today. and It's got a big water tank. How big is a water tank, Marissa? 100 gallons? Ish, I don't know. It's big. Um, I wondered why that, the water tank. Yeah, I've had it on trying to, so we're still, nice. we're down to a third that's getting to where I want to be. This st stuff you don't think about, you know, or have to think about with a house or something like that. It's like, you know, if you're leaving the day for the work, you're like, oh man, we got to like let some water out of the house to make sure it can, you know, function for the day. I'm definitely, uh, you know, I got the tire pressure monitor going here. I've walked around, double checked most of the usual stuff with the RV. Everything looks good to go, but the longer you sit, the more it's like you're kind of just creaking out of the driveway. Uh, so we're hoping we're good to go and everything will be smooth today. Could be interesting. This, this is gonna go in here. So we're gonna flip this on. I'm gonna let this sort of check the tire pressure on all the tires while we're waiting. all the feels heading out. We haven't moved the RV since March when we got back from Florida because we went to Hawaii instead of traveling in the RV. So this is exciting that we're, we're heading out with the RV on its next adventure. It's nerve wracking. But it's also like, it's always bittersweet because we enjoy our time in Tennessee. We enjoy our time with family goodbyes are really hard they've been emotional today my mom always gives us a send-off it's kind of our tradition so 
I always look forward to this. Yeah, so when you hear our viewers being paranoid about their slides and things being in the slides and under the slides, <sighs> yeah, this is what can happen. So I came into the rig after putting the slide in, and uh, yeah, this is what I found. This is what did that. It was like um, buried in this notch right here. I guess it started over here and like worked its way under, and then I pulled this tiny little, I didn't even know what this is. It looks like a miniature candle or something. But I pulled it out of this last hole right here, so it just drug its way under here as the slide came in. How would it even do that? How would this puncture this vinyl? We obviously sweep the floors really clean in here, but we need to do a better job of checking under the flaps. I don't know how long this has been in there. It probably got bounced out while we we're going down the road. We had some bouncy runs today, like you know, stuff fell off the walls and everything in here. It was bouncy <laughs> coming through Louisville. This did it. Hey Hensley, do you know what this is? What is this? Do you know what that is? Oh. What is it? How could that do that? I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know what to do. The good news is we are going to the Grand Design Rally, so hopefully we can find answers. The answer might be, hey, you're out of luck, you gotta replace the whole floor. But at least hopefully we can get an answer. It's all part of the journey. That's what I'm telling you. That phrase has helped me through so much. It just makes me appreciate the good times and overlook the hard times because I know good times are coming despite that. Pretty big haul. The kids did really well. How does JJ do at two years old? He does pretty well. Like, yeah. I feel like he can do like a two hour stretch and maybe like a break and then a two hour stretch. But we just did a three hour stretch today. He did great. Um, and he was rolling with it. So we went with it. We're pulling into the uh, Grand Design National Rally. So this thing is, this is huge. Like this is their big one. How was the ride? You good, JJ? How'd you do, Hensley? Was it good? We're yeah, here. It is. I've actually got the AC running in the back right now to see, you see how that's doing by the way. So I can check everything through the Victron app to see what kind of power is being drawn. This is the first time I'm seeing this too. So yeah, the batteries are down to 57%. So yeah, it's not quite keeping up back there. I'm sure that AC is just going nonstop while we're going down the road. We usually open a couple events and we did that yesterday and it was kind of hot. So I thought, well today, let me try the AC. Because worst case, I figured we'd get here in time and at least the batteries wouldn't be totally dead. Then we're gonna hook up with the electric now anyways. So I don't know, that's kind of a cool option if you got lithium and it's, I don't know how I feel about it though, draining the batteries down to 50-ish percent just to lower the overall temp. We'll see how the RV feels when we get back there. I'm kind of curious what it feels like. And we uh, knew we'd be showing up and trying to get JJ down yeah, for his nap. Yeah, the parking looks kind of rally style. Maybe not quite as tight. I know we're supposed to have water and electric. I think I do see it on the back over there. Yeah, we got a lot of solitudes in a row. Solitude, solitude. One, two, three, four, five. But counting us, five solitudes in a row. Here's your parking yeah. permit. Okay. You can put that on your dashboard for me, please. Yeah. So we're in the section called the hill, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we get to level out side to side. More and more. Get in there. Get settled in here. Got more good news from Marissa, so I want to make sure you guys got to see her face when I showed her this. So, officially no longer recommend this rack. I'll show you what happened. Just going from Cookville, Tennessee to Elkhart, Indiana. So, still feel good about this. This is great. This held up great. This is going to be... The video all about scuffs, I think. The scuff, scuff. video? Scuff no, video. we are not speaking any more scuffs. <laughs> I thought this would be the point of failure. I wanted to be one welded piece. It wasn't. It did fine. These were the point of failure. Like all four of them. Look what they did. They all bent down 
because of the bike weight and the bounce weight, once they bent down, then these, which are supposed to hold the bikes in place, can no longer hold the bikes in place because they bent down. And I put these straps in place to help, just to get us here. We're just seeing what happens. So basically, oh no, I know it scuffed them. We can't have anything new. No, no, it's, I want to blame the kids. They say once you have kids, you can't have anything nice, but I think we just don't need anything nice. Yeah, oh the issue. man. And I intentionally didn't reinforce it with anything because out of the box, 200 pounds, it wasn't supposed to need any reinforcement. I did this for you guys. So just to, like, could you possibly have these e-bikes on here if you like reinforced it all over the place and made some, yeah, but you shouldn't have to reinforce and make tweaks on a rack that's supposed to hold 200 pounds when this is only like, what, 140 tops? It's just not, it's not good. These were added after the fact. And we stopped and I could tell that it was not good. We get the lock off too. One, two, three, four. Secret code. Don't tell them our secret code. You have that channel. We have a different channel. It's called More Junk, Less Journey. Yeah. More Junk, Less Journey. Hey, my mom said she has that channel. Yeah, we just sold her home, bought this, and we have more junk. <laughs> well, mine's not too bad. Yours is actually worse, Marissa, so. Oh. <laughs> no, they're both pretty bad. Here's what did to mine. And it even bent this piece. This piece isn't even where it's supposed to be anymore. It's not even holding that bike in place anymore. Well, now we're going to look like professionals. Like we're like off-roading <laughs> yeah. yeah. bikers, you know? Just acting like I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks good, babe. Oh. You, know, you can't really see that. Nathan! <laughs> Just put a little LJMJ sticker over that. <laughs> put, we'll put no. a sticker on our floor in the RV. <laughs> put a sticker here, a sticker on the pedals. <laughs> I believe you have these on upside down because this, you know, mine go down. Did you not read the instructions? I don't need instructions! <laughs> <Nathan>. <laughs> I actually, I will reference to the video, I actually got the instructions out on this one. I did glance at the instructions. Oh my. Oh. I mean, would it, if it's going to be too much weight on it and they're going to bend, they're going to go either way, right? Would it matter? Yeah. Well, well, I don't think, think it would you, have, you were up high. The things you uh, learn and gain at a rally. So. Yeah, it's a wealth of information. Yeah, just you won't get that wealth of information from us. Let's put a rug down. Look, look what the rug does. <laughs> Problem solved. Right. It didn't look. I put the tape on. It didn't look that bad. But you can hardly tell it's there. I was totally against this rug, and now I'm, I'm warming up to it a little bit more. I just, I, it's one of those things where, like, if you, if, if you see it, it just kind of. I know it just, I just like don't want to see makes it. you so mad every time. It's just hard. I feel like this is our big, our first kind of big ding or scratch. I think that's what it is. So well. well, have you ever gotten like the new car, or the new cow, the new anything, and it's like, you try so hard, and we've, we've had a good run with hey, this. Hey, the bikes made it a week. Yeah, the bikes didn't even make it. This, this made it since December at least. This has been almost a year without oh, a big ding. Yeah, so both bikes already look like a year old. Um, uh. <laughs> Turn it down to 70%. Turn it down to 70? How loud do you have it? <laughs> this is Marissa's jam. She's your child. Dale just sent me a tape. You out, buddy? Dale just sent me a text. He's one of the guys that was outside working with me. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that. I had it mounted right the whole time. I knew I went by the manual. Look at this. It was right? Yeah, I had it right. I mean, I'm, I'm glad, but not glad. That no, means no. we need a rack. Because <laughs> I do not trust that thing. It's our first travel day in a while. Some things went well. Some things did not. Some things we can answer. The AC, letting it run down the road for about three hours, knowing we had an electric spot coming up. It was pretty good. The rig felt better. Some things that didn't work. The bike rack. <laughs> that's to be determined, to be solved. The rip in the floor. That's also to be continued. The good news is if you want to see what happens to those things and you don't want to wait till next week's video, uh, teamjourney.com. Got a great community there. We share real-time updates. And if we do fix these things ahead of our videos as they come out, we share it with Team Journey on there. An awesome, awesome community. Check that out. That is our journey for today. Until next time, catch you guys later.